It's never too late to get your life. <laughs> Getting My Life Together journal is now out. This is where you jot down all the stuff that I talk about that inspire you, whether it's getting your financial health in order, your mental health, your physical health, all of the things, whatever it is, this is where you put it. It is now out on Amazon. If you just need a place where you need to organize your thoughts, not just jot down, but organize, get my life together. Organizer is also on Amazon. So cop one or the other or both for $5.99 each. Five nine nine each. So yeah, just want to show y'all that. Hey everybody, welcome to Get Your Life Podcast with your host Lizzie G. Making sure my work logo is not showing. Break time. Anywho, um, real quick, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy coming on here and listening to my funny takes on stuff or my inspirational takes on stuff, tell a friend. Send the video to a friend and be like, girl, subscribe to my girl because that's just the thing to do. It's free. It costs you nothing to click that bing subscribe button. So do that for me. Anyway, I'm on here about to talk about that Netflix show, Ultimatum. No spoilers, just the whole premise of the show. Um, basically, people are out here trying their relationships. The whole point of the show is basically, uh, marry me or let me go, let me move on. And that whole thought process is troubling to me. Um, because I feel like life has enough problems that you don't have to invite problems into your life. Maybe it's just me, but um, it just doesn't seem like a wise thing to do. Like to try to pressure somebody into giving you a ring. And then when they're talking about it with their you know, significant others, we've been together for two years. You need to marry me. You need to put a ring on it. And it's like the person will typically have the their excuse of, well, you know, I'm not financially where I want to be, which isn't a bad excuse. It makes sense. If I'm broke, I don't want to marry you. Why, why would I marry you so we can be broke together? Like, that doesn't make sense to me. So I can understand somebody wanting to be financially stable before they marry someone. But the girls would be like, that's just an excuse. But then if he broke and y'all get married, you're going to be complaining about how broke he is. So... It's a good excuse if you think it's just an excuse. On the other hand, um, for the women, I'm like, so does that make you feel good to, to have to kind of force somebody to marry you? And here's the thing that's real dumb. So not only is you giving your, not only are you giving your partner an ultimatum, they get to, in this process, y'all both are dating other people so y'all come on up here with all the other um, I was about to call them fools all the other people who decide they want to try their relationship as well and mingle and date other people and um to see if there's a better fit for you and I'm just thinking how much how confident do you have to be in your relationship to even think that your partner won't find somebody that they like better than you but then if you were that confident in really your relationship, why were you, why are you even doing this? Like, it's all dumb to me. It doesn't make any sense. Everything is contradictory to me. Because I'm like, if you're confident in your relationship, I don't feel like you would have to do this. But then you have some crazy confidence to think your partner not going to find nobody better than you when they already said they aren't ready to marry you. Like, it doesn't make any sense. People are really out here doing dumb stuff. So... Here's a lesson from an unlikely source. Um, and our unlikely source is the ultimatum. Y'all, life has enough problems of its own. Let's not create problems. If you feel like you got to give somebody an ultimatum, not even just in a romantic relationship, if in regular relationships and friendships, if you feel like you have to constantly tell somebody to be better or they're not giving you what you need in that relationship why don't you just leave why are you threatening them just go away go maybe that person's not the person for you doesn't mean that's a bad person doesn't mean you're a bad person 
Or I've noticed that like the women will be like, well, I'm a great catch. I can do this, that, and the other. And it's like, you're a great catch to you. Like you, your, your opinion is biased. Like I'm not going to come go anywhere and be like, man, I ain't even going to hold you. I am trash, yo. I am horrible. Like, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to big myself up. I am a great catch. So our opinion about ourselves would be biased. Of course, we think we're a great catch, and you probably are, but guess what? You're not marrying yourself. Like, the other person got to think you were a great catch, too. And if they can't see it, then just go away. Leave. Or maybe they do see it, but they really don't have enough money to marry you right now. Or maybe they're just not ready. They need a little bit more time. Whatever the case may be, be patient. The person for you knows they're going to marry you. So you either need to trust that the person that you're with is not lying to you and just wasting your time. And if you feel that they are, then go. Just go somewhere else. Go back in them dating streets. Good luck with all that. But um, I don't think it's wise to be <sighs> trying your relationship when... um. They want to marry you, they will. I mean, I just don't see the point. And then a lot of people's excuses were like, it's just time. But they don't even really like the person they with. They just think, oh, we've been together for two and a half years and I am 24 years old. And that was blowing my mind. You in your early 20s and you trying to get married? What is wrong? With you? you don't have nothing else to do? Marriage is not a carnival ride. Like, what do you what do you mean? It's just time. Who says it's time? Who says? Whose timeline are you on? Like, no, there's no rule that says you got to be married now. Or no rule that says you've been dating somebody for two and a half years. You got to be married now. Like, who making the rules? Who said this time? Be patient, boo-boo. Because a lot of you people, a lot of them people on that show talking about it's time. Couldn't even have good, clear communication and not get into stupid arguments. Arguments that could have been avoided if they were just mature enough to have a conversation. So, the lesson is, don't try to force nobody to marry you. The right one will marry you when they want to marry you. If you feel like you're wasting your time, move on. But don't create problems in your relationship for no reason problems will come trust and believe as long as you're living problems will come you don't have to create them so anyway until next time y'all have a great rest of y'all day uh live your life don't create magical problems and just be out here be out here making good decisions don't do what they doing be better than them all right <laughs> have a wonderful day bye it's never too